Okay, so to start out, um, I know the lighting isn't exactly great, and you can probably hear my necklace. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to fix that. So um, this is where I keep my makeup. Um, above here, I normally have my hair stuff, but um, I have to put that all back. And then this is where I do my makeup. First, I'm going to start off with what I have here. So right here, I just have a um, little, like, table. Like um, Here's all my brushes. So I have my Beauty Blender sponge right there. Um, sorry, this is kind of shaky because I'm doing this with my hand. Um, and then just here's, like, an overview of my brushes. I feel like I have a lot, but I don't have as much as um, the other YouTubers have. Um, so... That's that, and I just keep it in a container with some beads just to hold them up. Then I have my um, Sephora brush cleaner, but I actually ran out, so it's like empty, so I just fill it up with this MAC brush cleaner, just so I don't waste it like, and like have to pour it out, and it's just much easier with the spray bottle. So I just keep the spray bottle, and I have my MAC brush cleaner. Then I have MAC Fix Plus, and I actually got these two today. Um... And then I have my Purell for when I do my makeup because I don't want uh, dirty hands. Oh, this is my face, lips, and MAC slash brushes I don't really use. Um, packages, and that was my phone. Um, this is my mascaras, then eyeliners, then eyeshadows, and then my couple palettes. I'm going to start off with the <clears throat> foundation and face products stuff. So I'm just going to pull the drawer out and then go through it from here. So I'm going to start with the liquid foundations. So I basically have my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Then I have Maybelline's Fit Foundation in 115. Then I have Paula Dwarf, um, which is actually really cool packaging. Ooh, sorry. Um, because it has like a little stick where you can like dab it onto the back of your hand or um, a place to put your foundation before you put it on. Then I have my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in I think uh, Rose Ivory. But sadly this is too tan for me so I'm waiting until the summer. And I don't know where my um, Naturelux foundation went. So um, Then I have my Makeup Forever HD foundation which is in current use. Um, this is... In shade 110. Then this is my MAC Face and Body Foundation in C1. Um, then moving on to concealers. Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. Um, and I'm in, I think, the lightest color. I think light ivory. And then I have my MAC Concealer, MAC Concealer that I'm out of in NW15. Um, then I have my CoverGirl or something. Um, Maybelline cover stick in ivory. Um, then I have my palette where I kind of put my foundation on. I kind of have to clean it because I used it today. Um, I normally clean it, so I just keep that like over my powder. Um, so this is the powder that I use. I don't use any other powder, even though I have all these bare minerals that I don't really like because I feel like it makes me cakey. This one doesn't make me cakey and it keeps me matte all day. So I love this one and it's in light or cream. Yeah, cream. So yeah, this is just an old blush cover or something. This is my MAC blush. I only have one um, and it's well dressed. Yep. Um, then I have my NYX Cream Blush in Rouge, or no, Boho Chic. I'm like losing my voice, I'm sorry guys. Um, and this is my Dream Bouncy Blush, and I think Hot Tamale. Yeah, Hot Tamale. And then I have my other Dream Bouncy Blush in Fresh Pink. Then I have just a Love and Beauty Blush. <clears throat> blush. Um, then moving on to bronzers, I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish that I just got today as well. Ugh. And this is in Soft and Gentle. So it just looks like that. <clears throat> then I have my Too Faced Leopard Bronzer. It just looks like that. It's really cute. Oh, hey. Um, so those are my bronzers. I normally have a matte bronzer, but I can't seem to find it, and it's really depressing. And I'm, like, nervous. It's out there on its own. With no one to love. Um, then this is just my duo of, of e.l.f. Oh, hey. 
elf um, dupes of the <clears throat> orgasm and um, Laguna bronzer from NARS, but the dupe was like two dollars. And this is some old blush that I found the other day, but I really like the color. But it's like <clears throat> five years old, so I'm like scared to use it. So then these are my three um, bare minerals. Um, I have light, I think, and the original. Yeah, original, and then I just have mineral veil, and then I have some really dark bronzer that I can't use because it's just not my color. So yeah, that's all my um, face products. So then moving on to lips. So I'm not going to go and show you every one, but I will go through what kind they are. So these are just three NYC <clears throat> Lipsticks. This is a Revlon. I think this is Elf. This is also Revlon. Actually, I think this is CoverGirl. Um, this is Revlon's my favorite right now. Um, I can tell you the name of this one. Pink in the Afternoon. So, there's that one. <clears throat> my NYX Strawberry Milk. That's that's a kind of nail polish from OPI, Strawberry Margarita. Then I have my uh, Viva Glam Gaga. And then I have my Baby Lips. I love. Um, then I have some chopstick and then my <clears throat> sample moisturizer and then these are my samples in the back. Just some things from <clears throat> Sephora. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about my voice if I like cough. Um, then this is my NYX lip lacquer in Georgia Peach. Ocean Salt sample. Um, <clears throat> Makeup Forever Lab Shine sample. Um, another sample. An eyelash thing. Um, this, these two are, um, NYC Lip Stains. This is a Forever 21 Love and Beauty lip gloss, which tastes like grape. Um, these are Forever 21. This is e.l.f. This is NYC, all three of these. This is my Smile Dazzle Glass. This is Love, uh, no, Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret. This is Revlon. Um, and then these are just some three tubes. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is color shine sensational. Um, and then this is juicy tubes. So yeah, that's my lip drawer. It's not that fascinating. Um, I'm in love with the Smile Dazzle Glass. I also got that today. But, um, I'll show you the last drawer in this thing, but it's not that special. Just old empty Mac Mac boxes, and I keep the boxes in case I want to travel or put something in it. I don't know what the use really is. So I have a couple palettes. I don't have as many as I hope to have in the future. Um, but I'll start off with my e.l.f. one since it's the biggest. Okay. So this one just basically has every color that I could ever need. Um, I'm hoping to get the 88 Shimmer from Coastal Scents or VH Cosmetics, either one. Um, but this will do for now. It has some really, really vibrant colors. You can't really see the colors, but they're amazing, and they're actually really, really pigmented. Like, like especially this blue. Here, I'll swatch it on my leg so you guys can see. Like, how crazy is that? That's like crazy blue. It's showing up green, but it, I swear it's like electric blue. So, yeah, they're actually really good colors. So I really like that. This is the 100 Eye Palette, and this is at Target for like $10. So I suggest you go get that. I'm sure I'll show that up there. Um, then I just have the Naked Palette. If you don't really know what it is, um, they're just a bunch of Urban Decay's natural eyeshadow pal at eyeshadows all in one palette. So um, go look it up at Sephora. It's like $50. Um, I'm hoping to get the Naked too. Oh, hey again. Naked too, so yeah. Um, then I have my Stila palette. I ab ooh, wow, I love it so much. I absolutely love this palette. It came with an um, eyeliner that's in there, but it has like little quotes like "Believe in the beauty of the future." Um, but it has like all my favorite eyeshadows, the powder, but like they're like really creamy, like oh, so pretty. That's kitten. I love that one. Okay. Then last, this is my MAC palette. I just got this today. Um, I had one... What is this? Oh, that's part of it. I had one um, unpotted eyeshadow um, that I just kept in this little magnetic 
card holder thing. I don't know exactly what that is. Um, card holder thing. Um, but now I have the palette, so I have the 15 palette. So I had Espresso, um, but I think it's just on its own and it's little depottedness, so I'm afraid it's going to get ruined now. But hopefully it won't. And it's probably just like stuck to something magnetic. But these are the two eyeshadows that I just got today. I believe this one's woodwinked. And it's just a really pretty um, bronzy color. This one's sable, and this one brings out this like more of a peachy color. Um, and this brings out the blue in people's eyes because it's peachy. So yeah, I'm supposed to have espresso in there, but it's not in there. Um, but it'll be fine. Um, so then moving on to the eye box. Um, I had a lot more eye stuff that needed to be separated rather than these. So um, this is just how I did it. Then I have my two great lash. I have um, lots of lashes and then just normal great lash. Um, I have the illegal length um, lash fiber extensions. Um, I have my Garnier for Tease Eye Roller, uh, Nature Lux, CoverGirl, Nature Lux in brown. I have um, Day to Night um, Rimmel. I have Million Lashes. I have Anastasia Brow uh, stuff. I have Clinique <coughs> Eye Curler that's broken. Um, I have some like sample, not sample, um, makeup artist lash comb things. I, I don't exactly know what they're called, but they are the brush for eye mascara. Um, so this is my MAC Fluid line in um, Black Track. This is my e.l.f. Um, cream eyeshadow in eyeliner, cream eyeliner, um, <clears throat> in black. This is the Physician Formula in the purple. I don't exactly know. It's called Shimmer Strips Glam Hazel Eyes. Um, then I just have some NYC um, eyeliners that aren't that great. Um, then I have some CoverGirl Brow and Eye Makers. <laughs> Um, then I have the NYX um, eyebrow pencil, eye slash eyebrow pencil. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> um, then I have the NYC, which I love, waterproof eyeliner pencil. This is like $3, and it's so creamy, you guys. <clears throat> I also absolutely adore this one. This is the <clears throat> Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Professional. And then the Stila. Uh, eyeliner in Damsel. And then just my NYX um, eyeshadow pencil in Milk. And then I have a sharpener and then some e.l.f. primer slash eyeliner maker, I guess. It kind of does what Fix Plus does. Um, and then I just have some palettes and then some more MAC eyeshadows. Um, in total I now have six, but I'm missing one. So then I have my Urban Decay, um, primer, primer potion. Um, then I have some blonde comb, I think, color design. Um, and this is in, like, latte, I mean, I don't know what the palette's called. Well, I can't really open it, so... <laughs> It's really hard. Um, then I have my CoverGirl eyeshadow palette in Shimmering Sands. That's a mouthful. Um, then I have some L'Oreal eyeshadow thing. And Landscape. Yeah, Landscape. Um, then I have the Revlon Customize, which I think is actually really cool. A friend gave this to me. Hi, Kirsten. <laughs> um, and this is in Sweet Innocence. Yeah, Sweet Innocence. And then I have the Revlon Cream Eyeshadows, which I love. And I think not just nudes. Alright. Yep. Okay. So then I have my Dream Mousse Shadow in Vanilla Veil. So it's like this cream shadow. 
Then I have, <clears throat> I think this is Naked Lunch. Yep. And then I have Satin Taupe. Satin Taupe. And I have Brulee. So, yeah. And I also have Espresso that I like mentioned like seven times. But, yeah. That's just basically it for my makeup collection. Wow, is that it? Yeah. That's it. Um, so, I hope you guys like liked this video and was informative to you all um, about what kind of makeup I use. Um, so yeah, 